You know when Tedros and the World Health Organization stop posting videos on social media, either something bad's about to happen or their PR mission is getting desperate. As you guys know, the pandemic treaty that is being discussed around the world, the World Health Organization wants to centralize certain policies, which again, so many countries, including the UK, we are worried that it's taking away our sovereignty. And of course, centralizing all powers just makes no sense because you can't have a blanket policy when it comes to global health. But clearly, they don't really care about that. And that is the whole issue. Anyway, this guy, the fake doctor, Tedros, has posted a video giving us an update on the pandemic treaty. Last month, the UN General Assembly adopted a political declaration on pandemic prevention, preparedness and response, underscoring their commitment to meet shared threats with a shared response. The COVID-19 pandemic appended lives and livelihoods, disrupting societies and economies, and exposed and exacerbated political fault lines within and between nations. It eroded trust between people, governments and institutions, fueled by a torrent of mis- and disinformation. And it laid bare the searing inequalities of our world, with the poorest and most vulnerable communities the hardest hit. The next pandemic is not a question of if, but of when. And we cannot afford to repeat the same mistake of the past. That's why WHO's member states are negotiating a new pandemic accord and amendments to the international health regulations to strengthen the legal framework for the global response to pandemics. And we can't stop there. We must follow through with national ratification and accountable implementation. For the sake of future generations, we must not go back to the old cycle of panic and neglect that left our world vulnerable. We are stronger together. Oh, God, I almost fell asleep. I don't know about you guys, uh, but yeah, he kept talking and talking and talking. Firstly, uh, the next pandemic is not if, it's when. Secondly, he's got an issue with disinformation and misinformation. I know, he doesn't get irony either. All right, I'm going to be reasonable here. I'm going to be sensible here. We can tell, all sensible people know, that at some point there will be serious pandemics. We know that. And I'm going to be reasonable also towards the WHO for one second, that there will always be people who would do misinformation and disinformation and fake news about everything. But who are you to be the referee? People have no faith in the officials in their own governments, let alone the WHO, because, benefit, benefit of the doubt, at times you guys made mistakes, and at other times, direct lies. First, face snappies is just one example, let alone everything else that you did since 2020. Benef benefit of the doubt, you made mistakes. How can we trust you? You made mistakes, and you spread propaganda, misinformation and disinformation. If you guys are going to be out, going out there, being a referee and judging people and tackling and deciding where the morality line is when it comes to information, who is going to be observing you guys when you accidentally make a mistake again and spread fake news about, again, face nappies, for example, and other procedures? Who's going to be in charge of you? That's the question. Whether it's a mistake or whether you're lying on purpose, somebody has to look after you guys. And this is the whole problem. They want, they want to basically they'll self identify themselves as the gods of morality, and we cannot question it. We have to trust the experts, but not all experts, only their own internal experts. You cannot even challenge uh, their own um, expertise, even if you have other people who could actually contribute to the research that needs to be done. Anyway. Here's the latest update on the World Health Organization.